Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing and initial impression video of a QHD monitor. So here you can see it is 27 inch QHD monitor and of higher FPS. So this one can go up to 170 FPS from Acer. Not only unboxing, but at later part, we can also compare it with some premium monitor or the monitor which is um, six or seven thousand more expensive than this one. So this monitor belongs to Acer Nitro series and this one is Acer 27 inch xv 272 u So without further ado, let's quickly unbox it and then we will talk about what feature it come up with. So let's get started. Okay, so I just removed the outer polythene of this monitor and before I actually unbox it, let me quickly show you the feature of this monitor. So as I was talking about, this one is a very high refresh rate monitor of 170 Hz. This will eventually produce much smoother experience, especially when you are scrolling something or playing games or even when you are scrolling something with your mouse. The second feature it come up with is it have one ms of response rate which means that while playing game definitely this is going to give you a very good experience without any lag now the next point i wanted to talk with you about this which is dci p3 believe me guys at this price point there is no monitor exist or even at three to four thousand higher price that cover the color gamut up to 95% of DCI P3, which I would say is really awesome, guys. Then um, we have SDR 400 support, which means that the peak brightness of this monitor is 400 nit, which again is pretty rare at this price point. And since this is IPS, we can see it will have a very wide viewing angle. If we talk about its sync support, then its support AMD FreeSync Premium, which is really nice to have. And one more thing you can see that this is also iSafe certified, which means that you can use this monitor for longer hours. Now, let me quickly open it up. Okay, so here the first document that we are getting is color calibration testing report which shows that the average color difference that comes with this monitor which is delta e whose value is less than one thus preventing the color inaccuracy and inconsistency on screen which is quite awesome guys because you know the price that i paid for this monitor is just 21,400 or 500 something and I bought it from Amazon. So if you also would like to buy the same monitor, then I'm gonna provide the buying link in the description of this video. So let me keep this aside and let me quickly unbox it. So what we are getting with it is this power cord, which I really hate. The reason why I am saying is, all the power cords nowadays are of 16 ampere and generally in our home it does not exist so i eventually need to buy extension of 16 amp now let me quickly take out what else we are getting inside this box so here we are getting usb a to b cable okay so let me take out another thing so here we got this very special i would say display port if you want to achieve this 170 hertz then for that you need to make display port connection and it seems like a piggy box or some kind of bag let's say we had in pubg and we are pulling out a lot of thing out of it okay so this is instruction manual then uh, we have another one which is the hdmi so this is the mostly used cable but I really hate it because you know this is now outdated and you cannot reach up to 170 hertz utilizing HDMI. So make sure to use display port or display cable. Now um, 
I think I am about to take it out for that. There are instructions here. I say I will try to open it up in my own style like this. Okay guys, and let me rotate it by 180 degrees or I can flip it like this to see what So here we have a stand which I will show you later on and this is the bottom mount of this tent it looks quite premium let me keep it aside and now i am now going to take out the monitor but before that let me keep it flat now i will open this box like this and there we go here is our monitor let me also open the last polythene wrap I would say this much amount of protection is very essential to, sheep, to sit these kind of parts the screen look really nice and minimalistic from three side and it seems like it also have some kind of infrared I need to check what exactly it is now let me assemble this stand So this stand is pretty nice because not only you can rotate the monitor utilizing this stand but you can also adjust the height so this kind of stand at this price point is really unbelievable now let me fix the stand and there we go now you can see uh, the typical square is stand the stand shape also shows that this monitor can be wall mounted because it comes with visa mount now it is pretty easy actually to install you just need to see for the locks and then you can insert it like this and there we go we have successfully installed this and now i can actually you know hold it like this and let me the cover and this is this monitor look like uh, I only do not like this bulge because this one is extruded too much and you see the thickness of it is coming too much out I would say compared to these monitors now before actually I make connection let me quickly show you by adjusting its height so there we go and then it also can rotate I guess like this yeah and not only it can rotate we can also make it tilt up and down and this way motion is also available so one motion is like this clockwise and anti-clockwise Another one is by adjusting the tilt and then it can also rotate on its base. Isn't it cool guys? Awesome! And there we go, we have successfully installed it. And let me see how different the both colors are. And now let me quickly play a video on both the monitors. So this monitor is Dell S2721DZF which cost me around 30,000 this one cost me only 21,000 so there is a 9,000 difference so let me quickly play the video and see what difference both make okay so here we go the both monitor playing same video and if i talk about the difference between both 
I would say both are performing equally well and then it's up to you which one you choose and I also let you decide which one you think is better. If you ask me this one is slightly cool because I itself have selected that particular setting this one shows slight warm color but that is pretty standard I have not optimized this one yet but both these monitor really can display a very crisp video and image. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If you have any kind of doubts or questions in your mind, please feel free to ask me in comment down below and I will try to respond to you as soon as possible. Maybe after a few months, I will be sharing a comparison video between both these panels and especially I'm gonna make some long term review of this unit and obviously this unit as well. And again, if you want to buy any of these monitors, then I'm gonna provide you the buying link in the description of this video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.